Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know, I know, long time no see. Um, I don't really have an ex exclamation explanation for that besides after graduation I just got busy or I just got lazy. <sighs> Yeah, there's there's no good explanation, but I mean, I'm back. I want to make more videos. I want to do more stuff with my channel, so let's get started with today's video. As you guys can see, my hair is totally different from the last time you guys saw me. I got some layers, which you can't really tell right now. I got bangs, and I got a balayage, and I am going to straighten my hair. For the first time since I got this haircut. Um, I also got a new straightener so I wanted to like do like a little review of that because like I feel like it. But let me show you my new straightener. It came in this packaging. It is by Dry Bar. It is the Tress Press Straightening Iron. <laughs> Um, first thoughts, the packaging is really cute, um, and it's like magnetic, it opens and closes like that. I already opened it a little bit, but I haven't taken the whole straightener out, and this is how it looked when I opened it, and I think it's really cute. What is this like? I'm gonna take it out. It comes with like a little manual or whatever. I opened it already. Like a long time ago, I don't remember what's in it, but probably just directions of how to use a straightener, but it's a straightener, so yeah. I really like how the cord is gray and not black. Sometimes I think like yellow and black just don't look good together. On rare occasions they do, but I'm glad it's not black because usually the cords are black. <laughs> I'm excited. So it's kind of like a matte yellow and on the inside it's like metallic silver. It's like um what type of plates are inside? The type of plates that are inside are the healthy kind. The, not the healthy kind. The type of ceramic plates I think it's called. I don't remember but I know that it's good for your hair. Like it's less damaging. Um, it comes with a little cover thing for the outlet thingy. There is a little power button, which I am going to click. It's on the inside. I don't know if you can see it. I think you kind of can. You click it. The only other buttons on here are like the plus and minus for the temperature change. I don't know. How far it just it go, only goes to 450. I am gonna make it heat up to 430. I think that should be good. If it's too hot, I will. Uh, it's smoking. <laughs> I don't know why. It's smoking. Maybe because it hasn't been used yet. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm going to turn it down. Okay, uh. I turned it down to like 370. It's still smoking. I'm going to put it on this thing. I'm doing like a review slash um, question and answer for you guys. I don't know if you guys are interested in that, but it's just what I'm going to do. I didn't think I was going to get enough questions being asked on Instagram, so I, I texted my cousins to send me some questions. Okay, so it stopped smoking. I'm going to make it go to 400. I read some reviews on this straightener and I saw that some of like the yellow paint chips off 
for some people and for others it doesn't so I'm hoping that doesn't happen to me <laughs> also I forgot to mention that there's I think there's two straighteners by this brand the plates are like one inch and the other one that I got is 1.25 one what would that be one and a quarter inches I don't know I think I said it right but it looked like it stopped smoking I'm gonna section off my hair I usually do less hair than this when I first start off at the bottom but I can't really see that well because I'm looking into a small mirror and into my camera so good luck to me the products that I put into my hair I'll let you guys know that as well um, so last night I washed my hair and when it was still wet I put in the the Garnier Fruit Teeth Sleek and Shine oil at like uh, the ends of my hair and then whatever I had left on my hand I just like kind of rubbed it in a little bit not too much because my hair does get oily really quickly uh, another product that I put in my hair like about 20 minutes ago was the straightener was the straightener -ing, straightening -ing guard um, also by Garnier Fruit Teeth okay question number one let's get started <laughs> what is your full name? <laughs> My full name is Sook Money Core Firk. I prefer to be called Money. It's spelled M A N I. I know you're tempted to say Manny, but please say Money instead. Okay. Okay. My camera stopped recording on me, I don't know why, but I didn't get far. Um, so I'm not used to doing reviews on straighteners, so I kept like straightening my hair after trying it one time like this, because I'm just used to it, but honestly you just need to do it once, from what I can see. The viewfinder is very small. Okay. Bottom section done. Before I move on, let me answer another question for you guys if you if you guys aren't bored already. Where did your name originate from? Um, so I am sick and that means basically for people just an easier way for me to explain it, I speak Punjabi. Um, and it like, my name originated from like, our Bible. Yeah. Well, why are your eyes different colored? That's what she said. My eyes are different colored because, um, I think it was my great grandma on my mom's side that had colored eyes. And so, um, a f couple of my cousins and... One of my brothers and I have colored eyes. Oh, also my mom. I like to come and tell it first. Okay, another question. Oh, what do you do for a living? So, after graduation and a few months of unemployment, I was lucky enough to get a job in October. Sorry, graduated, graduated last May. I got a job at the end of last October as a behavior interventionist and yeah that's just where I've been working right now um but with the quarantine stuff going on I have not been able to go to work so what do I do for a living right now nothing absolutely nothing right now also while we're talking about the quarantine I hope that everyone is staying home and being safe and I hope that you guys all stay healthy and I hope that all you guys are doing okay 
I'm falling in love with the straightener. It scared me at first. Did you got to college? She misspelled that. <laughs> yes, I did go to college. I can't really tell Whoa, which hair is already straightened, which ones are not. Um, I went to community college for four years. And I got an associate's degree for transfer in sociology. And then I went to a state school after that, stayed there for two years, got a bachelor's in sociology, and I minored in anthropology. And yeah, that was it. Fun fact about college. I spent most of my time when I transferred in my car. Either driving to school, driving from school, or just sitting in the parking lot and doing my homework in my car. Waiting for my next class. You know, sometimes I went to the library. Sometimes I fell asleep at the library as well. So I really like how this is turning out so far. I don't know if I'm doing a good job in reviewing this. <laughs> Who is my favorite sibling? <laughs> oh. Um, I don't know if I should say that out loud. I mean, I have moments where I like the other one more than the other one. <laughs> but if I have to choose, I don't think I would want to choose on camera. <laughs> <sighs> My cousin's trying to start fights, guys. She's trying to start fights. What's your favorite coffee to drink? Oh my god. Okay, so I'm addicted to iced coffees. I used to go to Starbucks almost every day and it was very unhealthy. At Starbucks, I usually get, depending on, okay. I usually get a venti iced white chocolate mocha with two extra pumps of white mocha just because every barista makes it differently. So I just add two extra pumps of white mocha because it always tastes different and I get light ice and depending on my mood I get no whip or I just leave the whipped cream on there but I barely leave the whipped cream on there. Um, and sometimes I get a coffee frappuccino. Um, sometimes I get a coffee frappuccino with java chips in it, which is just chocolate chips. Um, and then Dutch Bros, I also go there. Sometimes I get the iced white chocolate mocha, or I get the Annihilator Freeze. That's the one with coffee in it, yeah. Um, or sometimes I'll like just do the Annihilator, the iced Annihilator. I get the medium size for the most part all the time um I'm trying to think what else uh, the coffee that I make at home um I don't really have an espresso machine so I just use my Keurig and then I put a little bit of like white chocolate sauce or white chocolate syrup in it whatever I have at the time and then I put ice in it and then I put a little bit of like heavy whipped cream in it, just a little bit. Not gonna lie, sometimes I put a little too much than I need, but I mean it tastes good. And then I either fill the rest with just regular milk, or I put a little bit of almond milk and then regular milk. I don't know why I have to have so many different types of milks in there. It's probably just because it's in the fridge and I see it and I'm just like, okay, I'll just put this in here. Um, yeah. <laughs> so that's. My hair actually feels really, 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 really soft. Favorite food? French fries. French fries and a good burger. Booger. I just said booger. What is your favorite alcoholic brever beverage? Um, got a few different answers for this. So if I'm out and about at like a club or a bar, I just stick to something simple, just like a. Uh, vodka 
soda, but instead of like getting like Sprite, I get like um, Coke or Pepsi, whatever they have. Um, yeah. And I also like wine. Um, I mean, you put any alcoholic beverage in front of me and I'll drink it. I also like beer. Fun fact, my favorite beer is Coors Light and I get made fun of because of that all the time. Um, that's, that's basically the whole story. Where have I traveled? I have not traveled far. If we're talking about outside of the country, only Canada, but that was when I was younger. I barely remember it. As far as in the streets, just California. To Nevada, obviously that's where Las Vegas is. I'm gonna take a, a muffin break. It's been staring at me this whole time. I'm gonna take a big ass spoonful of it. So good. <laughs> <laughs> what do I fear? I don't know. I kind of want to say like falling, but then I also like going um, bungee jumping and stuff. Like, I think the whole, like, experience of just, like, jumping off something is super fun. <laughs> but when I, like, say of falling, I mean, like, let's say that I'm skating and I fall. The whole being super close to the ground and then falling part, I don't know, just freaks me out. It's like, you know how you have those dreams and it feels like you're falling and you like suddenly wake up? Like, that shit is scary. But, I mean, ask me to jump off a plane or jump off a bridge in terms of budgie jumping, I will say yes to that. Another thing that I fear, people. People are scary as hell. I mean, I don't really know how to explain that, besides people are pretty crazy and that's kind of scary. I have really curly hair. Beans. I get a lot of tangles in my hair, which means a lot of breakage. So. Not that fun. Do you snore? Um, yeah, I, I do s snore. Okay. Okay. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? That is a very tough question to answer because I feel like in certain situations, I'm an introvert. In other situations, I'm an extrovert. This is where my layers are going to clash a bit, but that's fine. I'll just do it in one. I'll just do it in one. I really hope the camera didn't just pick that up. So anyways... I'm doing the first layer of my bangs. Um, oops. Also, I forgot to mention that uh, the straightener automatically shuts off after a certain amount of time of being on, which is what happened, and I didn't even notice that it did that. I just comb it out, and it like fixes it itself. A little bit I I fix it afterwards after doing that and bada bang bada boom uh, depending on the day and how I feel like I want my bangs sometimes I let it hang just all over my face like this 
looks like that or I actually let it go over to like the side Which is like I like it like kind of like that so voila this is the finished product definitely want more layers i did baby steps at first because i haven't had layers for so long so overall if i had to rate the dry bar trash press straightener I'm only giving it like a four and a half and not a complete five um because of the smoking part but other than that it work like a really good straightener and I will continue uh, using it but yeah my balayage definitely looks better when my hair is straightened this is my hair um I can answer a few more questions I didn't get to all of them what is your favorite thing to do my favorite thing to do is sleep and watch TV. <laughs> um, what is your favorite color? Okay, so my favorite color is kind of controversial because it's glitter. My favorite color is glitter and I know that glitter technically isn't a color or whatever. To me it is. Glitter is always going to be a color. If there's glitter and there's a regular color, I will choose glitter. Um, but if I had to choose like an actual known color, <laughs> like dark green, the hunter foresty green, um, and like the pastel pink and the light lavenderish purple, and like the aqua type blue, like like the sea blue type of blue. Yeah, those are like my top tier favorite colors. When is your birthday? My birthday is July 11th and I was born in 1995 so yeah that is it for the questions I will save the rest for another time I'm not really good at outros and I'm also not really good at intros maybe I'm not good at the whole video thing yet I will get better at it I don't, oh, don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you next time. It says created for the perfect blowout. Perfect. I'm probably going to cut that whole thing out because that was cringy. Okay. Got a notification from Postmates.